In this video, I will demonstrate importing data to a fully configured Opera Cloud property. Let's get started. The files imported must match the current Opera Cloud property configuration, and you cannot change the data using the import process. You can use the Import Data option to import the following data types. Guest and contact profiles, sales accounts, sales activities, account and contact relationships, future reservations, catering events, and blocks including the room and or rate grid for current and future blocks. Now let's take a look at how to import data into Opera Cloud. Click the hamburger menu and then select Toolbox. Select System Setup and then click Import Data. Click Download Templates and then click OK to download and save the templates.zip file. The zip file contains CSV templates for each data type and a README file with prerequisites, requirements, and instructions on how to import the files. Open the zip file and extract the files. Now I can see CSV template files for each data type and the README.txt file. Next, I can click on and open the README.txt to review the file names, requirements, prerequisites, the mandatory columns for each CSV file, and the instructions for importing the files. For example, each data file created must not exceed the maximum file size of 10 megabytes, and you can upload and import multiple files per data type. Now, let's go back to Opera Cloud to continue the data import process. The property I am logged into displays, or I can click the magnifying glass to select another property, and then click Import Data. Now, click Add Data Types to Import. Next, enter the number of files to upload for each data type. In this example, I enter one account, one profile, one relationship, and three reservation data type files, and then click Add. This process adds six rows, one for each file. Next, I click Select Upload File to upload the account's file. Now, I navigate to the file and then click Open to select the file then click OK. Now I can see the file uploaded successfully. After the first file uploads, I can click the Save and Close option, and then anyone assigned with the Import Data task can continue and complete the import process within the next 14 days. I can remove unused rows by clicking the vertical ellipse and then selecting Remove Unused Row. Next, I click Select Upload File and browse for the rest of the CSV files for each data type, and then click OK. Once all the files are uploaded successfully, click Validate Data. If any errors are generated, I can click on the link to view the details, or I can click the vertical ellipse to download the error log file. Next, I save the file and click OK. The CSV error file contains a unique identifier and the error message description. Now, I can fix the error and re-upload the corrected file. First, remove the existing file with the error by clicking the vertical ellipse and then select Remove Uploaded File. Click OK. Once the file is removed, I can re-upload the file with the corrections. Click on Validate Data again. Now I can see all the files are successfully validated. And then click on Import Validated Data. And then click on Import Data into Opera. This imports the data to Opera Cloud. I can see the import is successful. You can view the import log for 14 days. This includes the file name, import status, the date, and the username. Now I click on Close Import. Click OK to continue. Now let's take a look at the import logs in the Changes log for Opera Cloud. Click on the main hamburger menu, and then click Opera Cloud to go back to the application. Go to Miscellaneous, and then click Changes Log. Next, from the Group drop-down list, select Miscellaneous. And then, from the Action Type drop-down menu, select Import Data. I can change the dates if needed, and then click Search. Now I can see the list of actions for my user, including the date, time, action type, and description. 